<sighs> you know, I was originally gonna talk about how great Pokemon Go is, and how addictive this game is, and how much fun I had, and the amount of adventures I had playing this game. But after reading about a pregnant lady getting hit by a truck, a bunch of players vandalizing their neighborhood, and just seeing the amount of controversy behind this popular game that's making people go outside and interact with each other, I don't think I can just talk about how fun it is. So now instead of talking about how great this game is and being positive, I'm gonna have to talk about why we can't have nice things. And I've been personally playing this game recently and it has been consuming every single minute of my spare time. As soon as I get off work, as soon as I wake up, I start playing this game, walking around like it's no one's business, and I gotta say, I love it. Talking to strangers has become less awkward and less creepy for me. Walking and jogging actually seems to have benefits now, you know. <laughs> and most importantly, I can ask my friends to go hunt Pokemons with me. I mean seriously, how epic is that? Who else can say that in the history of Pokemon Go or Pokemon or whatever, right? It's epic, it's amazing, I love it. And I have met some interesting people playing this game, starting from a group of university students who skipped class to catch Snorlax, to a YouTuber that can play the guitar and finger the guitar strings like every woman's dream. And it's super nice and I wish this game can only bring good, but so far that obviously has not been true. And here's my two cents on this phenomenon. Phenomena. Phen phen and here's my two cents on Pokemon Go. It's a game that's so successful, not just because it's Pokemon, but because it's a new concept that actually makes people go around outside and interact with real people. I know, crazy, right? And as ridiculous as that sounds, nowadays with a lot of quote-unquote millennials staying home to play games, watch TV, or browse the internet, because that's pretty much where the best source of entertainment is, there has been a lack of social interaction between the neighborhoods. And let me also point out that this game has benefited not just me, but so many others as well. People that happen to be overweight or have crippling depression or social anxiety that doesn't like going outside are playing this game, going outside, making new friends, getting over a lot of weird crap they have with their mental stability or whatever. And there has also been some wicked inspiring stories about children hospitals constantly being supported so that the sick children don't have to miss out on the fun. Introverts making new friends. Businesses near Pokestop skyrocketing in sales because everyone's actually going outside and buying stuff and players collecting garbage from their parks and their streets so that they can make the community a little bit better. Which is so amazing and anyone can see that this game can have so much potential. With that being said, the game itself, the service needs to be worked on, the bugs need to be fixed and this company needs to hire more people to do some good stuff because whew, they're not doing a very good job right now. And I know it's only been a couple weeks and literally millions and millions of people are playing it all around the world and downloading this game. And players need to kind of stop complaining, relax a little bit because, you know, Niantic kind of, they're doing their best right now. But Niantic, please, understand that when a group of people get angry and constantly tries to convince a company to change, it's because we truly care and we really want this to work. Alright, that was the positive part of the story. Now we're gonna get to the weird nitty gritty part where there's a tremendous amount of hate for this game as well. People are saying, Pokemon Go? Pokemon Go get a job? HA! Or whatever people, um, that's how I assume what people sound like. Which is kind of understandable because anything that gets too much attention is bound to have hate. But the other day I was walking around catching Pokemons, minding my own business. And someone yells out, are you playing Pokemon? Are you serious? Are you effing serious? How, how old are you? Right? What is wrong with you? As he throws a cigarette butt on the grass like it's perfectly normal. And I was kind of in a shock because I've never been called out by anyone before. So I naturally got a little upset and I yelled, Hey! I caught a Hypno! Have a nice day! And I just walked away as soon as I could. And I was kind of trying to say like, screw off you piece of monkey poo. But I actually did catch a Hypno and I was kind of too happy to get angry at that time. But bro, really, everyone has the right to hate this game, but don't yell profanities at random strangers, man. It just, it just lessens your cause. And I just read in the news that where this pregnant lady got hit by a truck, the truck intentionally apparently went way too close to them while they were playing Pokemon Go, and they kind of yelled back saying, what's wrong with you? And the truck stopped and reversed back to this pregnant lady, and she almost 
lost her son. Whether or not it was because she was playing this game, I don't know. But when I read it, it sure did sound like it was. And what the fudge? You can't just do that to a pregnant lady. They still haven't caught the guy. And I can't deny that there are some dumb people playing this game. But there are always dumb people doing anything. However, some players have been yelling at other teams because they can't capture gyms. I mean, I like to poke fun at Team Valor because they're crazy. But in the end, we're all just Pokemon trainers trying to have fun here. And people have been graffitiing their team logos in actual parks. Which, trust me, it only downgrades the team value. I mean, this is common sense, guys. I'm seriously concerned that someone will get hurt because of this game. And I'm gonna wake up one day, I'm gonna go on Reddit, and somebody's gonna post Pokemon Go Death, um, something about it being bad to society. And then, we're gonna lose our privileges. And to be honest, I kinda feel the same way in regards to teenagers and like kids walking around at 2am at night trying to catch a Snorlax at a sketchy part of the town. That's not safe. That's not nearly safe. I mean, a bunch of 12 year olds going in groups is just still a bunch of 12 year olds. That's all I'm saying. Or maybe the fact that you can put down a lure anywhere and people will still show up. Someone is bound to abuse this someday and it will be all over the news about how bad Pokemon Go is just because of it. Look, I made new friends and I became healthier, more proactive, outgoing. I start, you know, enjoying my day a lot more and I learn to appreciate my neighborhood. I wake up every day excited and I love this game. But at the same time, I'm really scared because of this game. Look, I'm not saying that this game itself will do any harm, but the people that play it definitely can. And we can't just stop what's bound to happen, but we can minimize it by telling each other how dangerous this adventure can become. You know, the moral, the moral of the story is, we can never have nice things forever without someone abusing it or breaking it. But please, try not to be that someone. Okay, bye.